Hello everyone, Jerry Shape Pie here, and today I have the Smith & Wesson Equalizer. It is a 9mm micro compact type gun. MSRP is $5.99. Let's see what you get for the money. But first of all, Equalizer. I'm not so sure I like the name. To me, Equalizer would be more suited for a competition style game, um, gun, but that's what they named it. And this is what you get. It looks like a Smith & Wesson Easy had a baby with like a shield plus. In fact, fun fact, the magazines on the bottom even say shield plus on the magazine. So um, it has some pretty nice wide deep serrations on the front of the slide and the rear. So you can get a nice good grip. The rear of the slide also has a uh, nice little piece that kind of sticks out a little bit. So when you're grabbing it, if your finger slips, it'll kind of grab that part at least. Makes it easier to rack the slide. Um, they have a cutout on top, so you can put optics. It features a 3.675 inch to be exact barrel. So it's a little bit longer than your Hellcats, which are like 3.3 inches, but not quite as long as like the 3.7 on the Hellcat Pro. Just like a hundredth of an inch smaller. It has a loaded chamber indicator, just a little hole right there between the barrel and the slide. So when there's a round in the chamber, you'll see the brass sticking out the top. So you can look at the, you're like, oh yeah, the gun's loaded. Even though you should always assume your guns are always loaded. It has ambidextrous safety on this particular model. Just push up and down. It does also have a model without a safety. It features a Picatinny style rail in the front. So you can put your favorite lights and lasers. It has a reversible magazine release. So it comes pre-installed for right-handed users. But you can switch it to the left. It has a grip safety in the back. What that means is um, the gun won't fire unless you are having it in a natural firing position. So when you grab it, your gun automatically disengages the safety. It has a very um, unique, they have a new style texturing on it. So um, it's got some cool little um, smooth cutouts around the these little square areas, but then the rest of the gun has a very nice, um, right here where your, where your main palm would be, it's a very nice deep cut. Like, it's not sharp by any means, but you can definitely notice it. And then the rest of the frame, all the way up to here where the slide meets and below, it also has a um, texturing on it, so you can see there. So it's not, the, the rest of it is very smooth, like you barely kind of notice it, but it's definitely not smooth. It's not sharp that you would feel anything, but it's not smooth either. Overall, I like it, um, especially for a carry gun. You know, you're gonna be using it in who knows what kind of situation. You want the gun to be nice and grip when you want it to be gripped so your fingers don't slide when you're in a, you know, adrenaline rushing, hand sweating type situation. And in the box, they give you three magazines. You get a 10 rounder, a 13 rounder, and a 15 rounder. So you can customize when you want to conceal carry, you carry the 10 rounder, um, you know, so it doesn't stick out as far as a 15 round, which is um, not a huge deal, but every little bit counts, especially when you're being kind of still carrying it. It's going to be sticking out your, like the side of your shirt that way. So the barrel doesn't matter because it goes down the side of your pants. You know, you can have it pretty long, but the grip sticking out matters a lot. So you can customize. I guess why that's why they call it the equalizer. Do you want to, you know, 10 for ultra carry concealment, 13 for average, or 15 when you want to use it at home, you get that nice full size grip. Um, unlike the EZ, they did remove the, um, the little tabs on the side to help you load the magazine. So now this is the old style way where you have to manually push it down with your thumb every time. But every single one of these equalizers, they do include the Maglula brand speed loader, speed loader, excuse me. So if you're not familiar with those, these are a lifesaver. You just has this little tab there. You push down the magazine, you squeeze it in, you push it down and it helps load the magazine. You just go like that, put your bullet in, let go and bring it back up. So even though the bullet, the um, magazine themselves aren't easy to load, they do give you a tool and this Maglula retails for about $30, 30, 35. So, I mean, that's kind of, that's pretty cool. And um, last but not least, they does have their easy slide technology, but not quite as good. So even though it is, Easier to pull back than most handguns. It's definitely harder to pull back than the Smith & Wesson EZ series. 
So if um, grip strength is a concern for you or you're a woman and you just can't physically pull back most of your modern handguns, this will be easier, but not quite as easy as the easy. But you also do get uh, 10, 13, and 15 round magazines versus the EZ that comes standard with like eight rounds. So that's it. All in all, pretty cool. Um, first generation, we'll see what happens. Um, let me know in the comments below. What do you prefer? Are you a SIG 365 Hellcat person or Smith & Wesson EZ series? Me personally, I like the Hellcat and I'm sticking with the Hellcat. In fact, I got it in my pocket right here as we're doing this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Hit that uh, thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.